Hello everybody, Marlene aka Snow Gardener 307. We're here for two things today. We are here to close out our July savings challenges. Let's see how big of a debt payment we can make. And we've also got Happy Mail. So let's go ahead and jump into this. Wake up. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. Here we are, you guys, with Happy Mail. If it looks like I'm close to the camera, it's because I am, because I have this huge box at the bottom. It says, Happy Mail, Christmas in July, and this is from my friend Danny. And so we're going to open this one last, so I'll go ahead and get it out of the way. And then, you guys, we have other packages as well, as you can see. So let's go ahead and get started with the Happy Mail. And we're going to start with this package right here. Let's see who this is from. Oh, look at that busy bee. How cute is that? All right, let's take a look and see. I don't remember who this is from. So hopefully there's a note in here because the name is covered up on the front. It is from Virginia. That's all I can see. The name is covered up by my post office. So let's take a look and see what we've got here. All right, is there any sort of note or anything? This is from Wild Everest, and I do remember ordering from her. And so I believe her name is Patricia. Patricia or Trisha. Looks like maybe Trisha. And so these are ones that I ordered. And so these are super cute. Busy Bee, and they are laminated. Book a budget. <laughs> Love that one. Fairy Tale. Seize the day. I'm gonna use that one for vacation. Mighty savings. This one is a uh, unknown amount. Precious peonies. Sand and sea. Passport to save. Save one hundred and forty dollars. Those are gonna be big numbers. S savings and or savings splash. That one's super cute. Look at that hippo. Berry harvest and bountiful savings and Starbucks. That's a $40 challenge. And then it looks like I got a little freebie right here. Super cute. So thank you to Trisha for that. All right, let's check out what the next one is. Let's take a look. <laughs> it's got a cute little sticker on the front of it that says happy mail mail, a little mail bag. All right. So this says Marlene, I enjoy watching your channel. Hope you can find a good use for these minis. Leanne at Budget Bassett Mom on Etsy. All right, so let's take a look and see what she's got. A cute little bookmark right here. Love these little bookmarks. It says, great things take time. Cute little puppy. We've got keep pushing, save $40. This one is save $24. That one's cute. And then these cute little kid ones. How cute are those? So a huge thank you to Leanne. Move those off to the side. And then we have got my friend Champagne. This is going to be my freebie for my membership. It says, hang in there. That is so dang cute, Champagne. Love it, love it. Hang in there. Okay, single-sided. So cute. Don't know how much it is. She likes to keep us guessing for that. And then we have got my friend Tracy. And let's see what she has sent today. I'm pretty sure this is membership as well. And so we've got Golden Girl Budgets. It has all of the information about being a member. And then I have got a paper airplane challenge right here. So this is a $100 savings challenge. And it's just cute little paper airplanes. And I just thought that one was super cute. So that's the one that I picked. And then we've got stuff and budget. So let's take a look here. And so this is candy. Oh, that's cute. A little bookmark. Look at how cute that is. Alrighty. So we have got candy and I did just join her membership. So let's take a look and see what she's got in here and open this up and see. <laughs> There's some stickers in there at the back. And my garbage is too far away, so I just threw that on the floor. So stuff and budget. And this, of course, is my little thank you from her for joining the membership. And I asked her to surprise me. And it says, welcome to my channel. You are all super cute. That one's super cute. And then it says, I'm so cute and din some. 
Love that when you find the little dim sum, it's $10. Super cute, you guys. Great challenge there. And we've got a little piece of sushi and her logo there. So a huge thank you to Candy. I'm super excited to see what will be coming with her membership. And then you guys, we have got a package from Janelle Ray Budgets. So let's go ahead and open this up. And of course, I already know what this is. I'm sure you guys know as well. Yes, you guys, here is our August budget book. Oh my gosh, look at how cute this is. So I have not seen this. I have avoided everything so that I could be surprised by her happy mail. And so of course it's got a little thank you for your order and it's got a, a percent off code on there as well. I'm not gonna share that. She's got a cute little Alice in Wonderland. That's an interesting paper. Hmm, very cool. And look at the August one, you guys. How cute is that? Oh my goodness, I love it. So we've got the August, like every month starts out with, with the flower, and that's poppies. We've got back to school. We have got little fair, scratch and roll to save. Good shoot. Crackers, chocolate, and marshmallows for little s'mores. How cute is that? So you pick how much you want for each one, or roll and save on the back. Cute little lemon and flowers. Food Truck Festival, and so it's Welcome to the Food Truck Festival. Eat your way through the food trucks and save along the way. Scratch at each food item and save the amount of your choice at each truck. How cute is that? Oh my goodness, it's both sides. Love it, love it. I don't know what I'd do without coffee. Coffee, probably 25 to life. That's super cute. And a cute little kitty with some books. And I'm getting all choked up, not because of this, but I got all choked up. Books and a yummy drink and a cute little kitty on the back there. Oh my goodness, Janelle, I really like this one. It is so cute. I love the Ferris wheel being cut out on the front. So you guys, we will be switching out to this at the end of today's challenge. So make sure you t stay tuned. Not challenge, but at the end of today's video. So make sure you stay tuned till the end. So we are going to finish out our July binder today. We're going to put as much money towards everything that we can. If things don't get stuffed or scratched, that's okay. Because we will be reusing this book again next month. So we've got our savings challenge binder. We have got $200 in cash right here. I just counted it right before. So we've got a ton of ones, you guys. Look at that. I think we've got over 50 ones. So we have got a lot of ones to stuff here. And of course, we've got some other bigger bills. So we're going to see how much can we pay to debt today. And of course, on the last video, you guys know that we are we do have a different total than we did before. And then you guys, we're going to go ahead and start out with our large binder. And then we're going to go ahead and go right into the July binder. So we're going to do a couple things in the large binder. And then we're going to put as much money in the July binder as we can. So we're going to skip the Snow Gardener binders today. We're going to skip the Poppet, the Life's a Beach, and both of the Georgette books. But you guys, I'm super excited. I created this savings challenge right here. It's a brand new one on my channel. So it is Christmas Dreams and it is a $100 savings challenge and it's a Christmas tree made out of books. And I just absolutely love it. And at the top, you can see right here that this says my books. That's right, you guys. I am doing this savings challenge 100% for me for my books. It's a Christmas challenge, but of course you can use it for whatever the heck you want. And when I saw this art with this tree on it, I knew I had to do this because I love books, you guys. I absolutely love them. So let's go ahead. We're just going to scratch one. And so we've got five bucks right there. And so $5 will be going into our brand new savings challenge. And this will be going to my books. And that, of course, is not anything for school or anything. It's just to save for mine. And you guys, Christmas Dreams, the dashboards are available for free on the Ko-Fi. And you guys, that's not a five. That's a five. I almost put one dollar in there. And then we're going to go ahead and um, roll on the next challenge for the last time. We're going to go ahead and close this one out. I know we haven't scratched them all off, um, but we're going to actually, let's see. Hmm. We're going to, instead of rolling, we're just going to scratch three of these, three random ones, and we're going to save whatever we need to save. So we've got $3 on that one, $4 on that one, so $7, $8, oh, let's keep going, you guys, 8 
plus there's a love, and he is seven, so that's 15. That one's blank, little trickster I am. Plus five is 20. Let's do it, you guys, I can't not. Okay, 20, ooh, oh, there's 30. Is there more loves in here? I don't know. Oh, 30, 38. <laughs> One more, you guys. Oh, and that one's blank too, so thank goodness. All right, so we're gonna take $38 and put it into the emergency fund. And I didn't plan on doing that, but I hate leaving stuff unscratched. And this one, of course, is Find the Love. It's on my channel. And there are a couple different versions, you guys. So even though you saw my version, you might get one that's different, just so you guys know. So we're going to go ahead and tear this one out of the book. And it does have a challenge on the back, but we're going to switch out. We want to do something different. This one right here says it's flower delivery. To deliver the flowers, you must roll a die and save that amount for each brick in the road. So you just roll a die and go along and save the money. But like I said... We've got so many saving challenges that we want to change things up. So let's go ahead and take out the find the love envelope. And don't worry, we'll be doing something else different. We are not going to do shut the box today, if you guys can believe that. So find the love and find the love is going to emergency save. So let's take a look. So we already put $100 in the bank because I did not want that money sitting there. And let's see what else we're going to be putting into our emergency savings. Because this is another big part of our goal right here is our emergency save. Because with the storm that we are going through and that we've already went through and we continue to go through, emergency savings is more important than ever. So let me go ahead and grab a little sticky note right here. Let's go ahead and count this. Obviously, the $100 is already in the bank, so we're not going to write that down um, because we've already moved it into the bank. So let's go ahead and take a look. We've got 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90, 95, 100, 5, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 21, and 2. So another $122 to emergency save or emergency fund. Perfect. I'm going to put this bill away because that of course is already an emergency save and then like I said we're not going to do shut the box today we are going to roll the dice once for our 2024 and 2024 so we've got our d8 right here we're just going to roll it once I know people are rooting for number two nope number seven so we've got seven is right here let's go ahead and pick a color and we're going to go ahead and we're not going to go with the top number this time we're just going to go ahead and do 10. so we're going to grab ten dollars and put it into here and that will be ten dollars closer to us making our goal so let's go ahead and move this and put ten dollars in there and you guys, that's it out of that binder. Like I told you guys, we are wanting to finish this July binder out as much as we possibly can so that we can save the money for July. So we need our D10 and we need our heads or tails. So let me grab our D10. Okay, D10 because we have 10 challenges in here. You guys will see we have quite a bit of scratching still to do. But like I said, if we don't end up scratching everything, then that will be just fine. I will tell you guys we're not going to double to see if we can get as many things scratched as possible. Let's go ahead and go through here. So we've got 10 and it does not matter heads or tails. And the good thing is this right here is the last scratcher for number 10. And so this is going to finish out 10. And it's a doozy. This is from Champagne. And this was one of my membership ones. And so $15 going towards the monthly CD. And so this will be going towards the August CD, you guys. And so what do we have? So we have $60 going towards the CD. I'm going to go ahead and write this in here. And so I just moved this into my uh, Capital One checking because that is where I have my CDs at. And so I will just buy that. So 10 is already done. Look at how easy that was, you guys. All right, then we've got seven and we've got seven in tails. And these are our cute little chipmunks right here. So we've got $3. And I know on the last video, I messed up and I didn't pay $3 for my, my bingo tic-tac-toe. <laughs> for those of you guys that caught it, thank you so much. We've got seven tails. Well, that's gonna make that easy because that finishes that one out right there. 
So if we get seven tails again, we'll just do heads. All right, now we got six tails and six is a choose your own. We're just gonna go ahead and do the front side of seven since it is right there. So $2 and the reason why I know that six is a roller's choice or choose my own is because I've got my six paper clip right here, which means that that envelope was done already. And we've got a four and we've got heads and heads is done on four already. So let's go ahead and do tails. So we've got one buckaroo going in there. Depending on how spicy the numbers are, you guys, we might be able to get all the scratch offs done. And what do we have there? We have a nine. All right, so this is gonna be it for number nine. And the reason why it's gonna be it for number nine is because we only allow ourselves to spend money on this challenge once during a session. And so this right here is just for fun stuff. And so this is from Liz over at Liz and Less. So we're gonna go ahead and put $8 in here. And then you guys, this will get moved over to our next binder. So we're gonna put our $8 into there. All right, so nine, 10, and six are all done. So we've got four and tails. Okay, four is done as well. So we're gonna go ahead and take that one off. And we've got five bucks for number four. So let's go ahead and take this five, this one, and all of this money here. Now we already put $50 towards our debt with this challenge right here. So, ooh, it looks like we've got another 50, you guys. So let me grab a sticky note because I like to keep track of all of them separately because even though they're all in the same savings challenge book, they're all separate little savings challenges. So this is number four and that is $50. And my little marker is trying to run out. So $50 there, or no, 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 that's only $49, you guys, I can't count. So $49, if that keeps acting up, you guys, don't worry, we'll get another. I'm gonna go ahead and put this $50 in my drawer because that's not a real $50 bill. All right, so we got two and we got tails. Oh my goodness, there's a lot on number two. So we've got $5, five buckaroos, and we got seven. And we got seven tails, but we know that tails is done. So let's go ahead and do this front side right here. So $3 there. So one, two, and three. And we got three and we got heads. Oh, it's a good thing because it looks like three has not been rolled once. One dollar there. And I can't see my dice, four but four is done and we get our choose our own. So we're gonna go ahead and do another one on three just because three has not seen much action at all. So one, two, and three. And we got six and six is done. We're gonna stay right here. So four more dollars. See if we can get all these done. One, two, three, and four. All right, oh my gosh, six again, you guys. Let's stay here. And four dollars there. I can't believe how many times we have rolled that number. Four dollars and that's coming out of there. So let's shake these up good. Let's see what we get. How about five? Five and we've got tails and that's a roll. So let's go ahead and grab our D6. And we've got four dollars. Look at the back of this, you guys. We have almost finished that one out. One, two, three, and four. All righty. Now we got five and we got heads. Okay, scratch this one, $2. One and two, and boy, we're getting scratch stuff all over. And then we've got nine and heads, so we're already done with nine, so we're gonna go ahead and scratch another one here. So we've got $6, so five and six. And we got five and tails. Oh, that's gonna be our last one for five. So let's take a look. We got three buckaroos going in there. So the back of five is all filled up. Look at that, you guys. So $3, we said one, two, and three. Let's keep going. So we got eight and we got heads, but heads is already done. So we're gonna go to the back here. And we've got $6 and I feel like I'm getting scratch off stuff all over. So five and six, let me scoot you guys up a little bit here. 
Let's keep going. We got lots of stuff to scratch still. We've got three and we've got tails. And let's go ahead and do that one. And we got $4. We did quite a few there too. One, two, three, and four. And we got seven. And we got seven heads. Ooh, we're almost done with this one. And we got one dollar. And it seems like, I'm going to say this and then I'm going to get some spicy numbers, but it seems like we got most of the spicy numbers already. But you know, as soon as I say that, there's going to be like a 20 or something hidden in here. All right, you guys, so that's a 10 and 10 is all done. So we're going to finish out seven and seven is four dollars. And you guys, you'll notice that I'm just putting the ones in here because all of these ones are going to have to go back to the bank. There's not going to be a binder reorganization as far as that goes. So number seven, let's go ahead and pull that on out of here. We already paid $50, so we're going to put that in the drawer. Let's take a look at what we've got in here. So we've got 40. Oops, I just put that five on the back and then put ones. So we've got 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. So $58 for number seven. So $58, number seven. And then if you guys are looking at these numbers going, those numbers are way too high for me, just know we doubled on a lot of these challenges right here. And that means I doubled the amount. So six is already done. Okay, so seven is done. Let's look at number eight. Let's scratch number eight. And we've got four buckaroos. So in previous weeks, because I wanted to put more towards debt, instead of paying four, I would have put in $8 right there. So don't worry about the numbers that I've got. So eight, and it says heads, but heads is already done. So we're going to scratch another eight, and that's $2. One and two. All righty, all right. And we've got five, and we've got heads. Perfect. We're getting there, you guys. We've got $3. One, two, and three. I'm going so fast, you guys. I'm not doing a very good job scratching, nor am I doing a very good job vacuuming. And we got three, and we got tails. And so that one is one whole dollar there. So one dollar. And we got six again, and six is already done. We're going to flip three over, and we're going to do one of these scratch-offs. So two dollars there. So one and two. And we got six again. We're gonna finish this three out. Now I know there's more roll and save, but we're gonna call these done once we have all the scratch offs done. So three dollars, so one, two, and three. And we are gonna exchange some of these ones out right now so that we can keep going in our binder. And if we finish out our binder and all the scratch offs, and uh, we still have money, we will go back and do some of our other books. So let's take a look. Ooh, and this one, we have not put any money into the bank yet. Oh, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Perfect. One, two, three. So we have got $68, you guys, for number three. So $68. And we are just, you know, making little contrib contributions and making these payments. And it just makes me so happy. All right, 20, 40, 60, 68. Okay, we're going to be making more payments. All right, so we've got one, two, five, and eight left. Let's see how many more times we're going to roll. All right, so this is going to be my choice. Man, we've got a lot on July that we haven't scratched. So six dollars, so five and six, and we got one, and it's a tails. Okay, we're not gonna do any more roll and saves, we're just gonna scratch. So we got a one dollar, one dollar, and we got three and three is done, so we're gonna go ahead and we're just gonna keep scratching this one if we roll things that are our choice. One, two, and three. And we've got two, and we've got heads. And don't worry, you guys, I didn't forget about the rest of my Happy Mill. 
Did you guys think I forgot about my big package? <laughs> I meant to tell you we'll do that at the end because my desk is so full of stuff that I was like, it's going to take a little bit more room. And I don't know if the camera will be able to stay where it stays. I'm going to have to figure that out since the box is so big. And I have no idea what it is, you guys. No idea. All right. So we got four and four is done. Um, let's just stay where we're at because this is almost done here. So we've got $4. One, two, three, and four. And we got three. And three is done as well. So let's finish this front side out. And we got three dollars. One, two, and three. And then the back side still has all those scratch offs, you guys. Look at all those scratch offs on that one. Holy cow. And four is done. Let's see. Let's go ahead and do number one. So we got three dollars. One, two, and three. And what do we get? Three. And three is done. We're gonna stay on one. So two more dollars. I can't believe how many scratch offs there are to do. All right, and we've got number two. And we're gonna do one of the scratch offs on the back. And that was three dollars. One, two, and three. And we're just about out of $1 bills again. And we've got five, which we were still working on. Ooh, yeah, that's perfect. So that's gonna finish out five. And that is five buckaroos. So I'm gonna take this 10 and put back five ones. One, two, three, four, and five. And let's take a look at what number five is. And number five, we already put $50 in the bank, so I'm going to go ahead and put that back in my drawer. And then let's see how much we've got for five. All right, so, and we need a sticky note. And like I told you guys, I'm just making a mess. Number five. And we have got... 20, 30, 40, 45, 50, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. $58. This is pretty dang good, you guys, considering for several of these envelopes, we already took out $50. Okay, so what do we have left? We've got 8. We're going to go ahead and see what we can do on 8, just because. I don't know how big they're going to be. These ones look kind of spicy. <gasps> $8. That might be it right there, you guys. I don't even think we've got $8. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, we do have eight dollars. Eight dollars. We're gonna take eight off. We've got three bucks left. Let's see what the scratcher is right here. How about two dollars? And I doubt that this one right next to it's one, but you never know. How about five dollars? <laughs> All right, you guys. So we did not quite finish all of these, but this is what we're rolling with today. So let's go ahead and count number eight. And write a little sticky note for it and see what we've got for eight. And then we'll go through the book. So number eight. And number eight had $50 already going to the bank. And let's organize these. We've got lots of ones, of course. Okay. Oh, I saw another five there. Is that the only one? Looks like it. So we've got 40. 45, 50, 55, 6, 7, 8, 9, 60, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 70, 1, and 2. So $72 there for number 8. Perfect. And then since we're back here, I'm going to go ahead and pull these ones if I can get these open. Oh, come on. My fingers get so tired from these when I'm creating my own books and stuff. It's not even funny. So Mr. Snow Gardener opens a lot of those for me <laughs> to make it easier for me. So we've got nine and 10 to go into our next book, which of course we're going to do, but I promise it will be after the rest of the Happy Mail. All right. And then I'm going to take this sticky note off. And since I'm going through here, I'm going to make sure that I haven't forgotten anything in these ones that we've already went through. And nope, those are clear. All clear. Okay, so we've got two. Let's see what number two has. And we still had scratch-offs we didn't finish. So let's do number two. 
and then we'll do number one, and then we're gonna do a debt update, and then we're going to do happy mail, and then we will uh, pull out our new binder. So $50 going back in the drawer since it's already in the bank. All right, so for number two, we've got five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21 dollars. $21 for number two. And then for number one, and let's go ahead and pull this And We didn't finish this one either, you guys. And so when I go in and clean these off, then I'm just gonna leave those stickers so that they can be a surprise. All right, so for number one, we've got 20, 40, 60, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, one, two, three, four, and five. Wow, that was a good one. $75, and I've got two sticky notes there for number one, $75. Let go, sticky notes. <laughs> let go, let go, I say. All right, let's go ahead and move this off to the side, and let's shake out our binder because we have all the scratch-off stuff in there. I'm gonna put that binder aside. I'm going to move these off to the side as well. I'm gonna put those on my August binder along with all of those. We're gonna get this stuff out of the way so that we can do our debt update so that we can see where we're at. And my chair is creaking. Let's get into our July budget. July is almost done, you guys. Can you believe it? Almost done. July. There we go. Okay, so here is our new challenge that we're working on, or our new debt snowball. And of course, this was um, a different card that we did some balance transfers and stuff. And of course, so we've got money going into emergency funds. We've got money going into the CD. But right now, we are just focused on um, our debt. And so we're gonna write all of these down. And today, as I film this, is the 27th. I think you'll see it tomorrow. Alrighty. So let's take a look. So number one had $75 in it. Number two had, <laughs> I wrote the dollar amount, had $21 in it. Minus 21. Okay. I got cash everywhere. Number eight had $72 in it. All right. Okay, make sure that that's all number eight. I should have put those up there differently. Number five had $58. Okay, number three had $68. Wow, you guys, this is really gonna add up. Number seven had $58. Okay, and number four had $49. All right, so let's make sure we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so I wanted to make sure that in this stack of cash here that I didn't mess anything up. So obviously when I take this to the bank, I'm not putting all of those different deposits in. They'll all go in as one big deposit, but I like to separate it out just for fun for myself. All right, let me get Mr. Cassio. He's hiding in a drawer or something, and I'm certainly not going to be doing mental math right now not going to be happening. So we were at 9,125. Let's see, hopefully you guys can see that. And we're going to go ahead and subtract out 75. And 21. 72. 58. 68, 
58 again, and 49. So 8, 7, 2, 4. So today we did all of this, and I like to see how much we did for today with finishing that out. So we started at 91.25. We did 87, or we left with 87.24. You guys, today we are making a $401 debt payment. How amazing is that? I am so excited. So excited. I mean, am I really excited that money is going to debt? No. But am I excited to get this debt paid off? Heck yeah. All right, so as I told you, I've got this great big huge box. And I think what I'll do, because it is so big, is I am just going to open it up right now so you guys can hear me. I have not opened this box up. I do not know what it is. It is a surprise. I have no idea what Danny has sent to me. So let me see if I can get this box open with a little bit of trouble. I am the worst box opener and package opener ever. Oh my gosh. Oh my heavens, oh, this is amazing. Oh my gosh, you guys, look at this. Oh my gosh, that is beautiful, Danny. Oh, look at this. Oh my goodness, oh my heavens. <laughs> All right, holy cow, this is amazing, you guys. Danny said it was something she had made. Look at this. Oh my goodness, look at these peppermints. Look at how fun this yarn is. And she knows I'm Christmas crazy. And I'm hoping that the light does this justice um, because it's got the little sparklies in it that are in that yarn. Oh my gosh, that is so pretty. So, so pretty. Okay, just making sure that she didn't have a note in there or anything. Oh my heavens, you guys. This is absolutely gorgeous. I had no idea what it was. I knew it was a bigger box, but it wasn't super heavy. And she had told me that it was something that she had made, but I didn't know. And so there it is all folded up. Oh my goodness. How gorgeous is that? Thank you so much, Danny, for the thoughtful gift. You knew that I would appreciate it. And boy, do I appreciate it. That is beautiful. And one of the most amazing gifts ever because I can only imagine the time that it took you to make this. So thank you for brightening my day today. And I'm so excited. I will treasure this. You will see this in my Christmas decorating on my other channel um, later this year. I'm not sure if I'm going to do Vlogmas, but I'll definitely do some Christmas videos on my other channel. And so let's go ahead and get our binder switched over. You guys, I'm going to go ahead and say a goodbye for now. Um, because it will just take me a few minutes and I'm not going to talk as I go through this binder. But um, I want to remind you guys to never give up and to always keep smiling. Step one, wake up early, gonna rise with the sun. Step two, get some good, some food in you. Step three, you grow hard about what you want to be. Step four, fuck everybody just do your thing. Wake up, today's going to be a good day. Wake up. Today's gonna 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 be a good day. Set your affirmations, aspirations I got shit to do, the aftermath of preparation Good food, good mood, blood in circulation One step at a time, yeah that's how you make it Set a goal you control and the steps you take them I try to pick one thought, have some concentration And if I make a mistake, it's called education I try to do this every day, call it replication Wake up, today's gonna be a good day Wake up, today's gonna be a good day Wake up Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up.